This is where I begin Tales of the Borderlands, Episode 5, Number 2. Everybody. Just got done mutilating myself in order to take out Handsome Jet. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Fiona? Fiona, come in, please. Sasha! Sasha, I'm here! Oh my god! Listen, Valerie used the beacon to upgrade Gordas and, and summon the vault. Gordas is trying to keep it open, but the monster that came out of it, it it's big. Really, really big. The beacon made Gordas bigger too, but... She, like this. Why the hell do you leave me? You were that idiot Finn. She hit the boost and ended up... Okay, you know what? That's not important right now. Look, we gotta do something about this thing. The, the monster came with the vault, so maybe if we get rid of the vault, we can... Uh, wait. Uh, ho hold on. There's someone... Sasha? Hey! hey! Sasha! My god, I did not react in time to that. How the fuck am I still alive? Did it just hit me? Wait, no, never mind. These guys are all immortal. I'm pretty sure that Redneck Scooter is still alive, too. That was half serious, half sarcasm. Sasha! Holy fuck. That's- oh my fuck, Gordis! Gordis? Bro! You are fucking you! Just be still! And it'll all be over soon! Oh, and the old bitch, of course. Now, she really tends to come up here when it's convenient to the plot, doesn't she? Can I kill August? Uh, no, you know, he helped me out. August, where's Sasha? Damn it. All right. Gordis, you're cutting in and out. I thought I could pick up a weapon from the caravan, but I guess not. I don't want to go up here empty-handed. I mean, we she fucked us all up the last time. Man. Okay, I guess never mind. I guess I'm doing that. I'm just gonna push her off with some shit. God damn it! Let go of me! Where is Sasha? Yeah, I do. That's why I asked you, asshole. She put up quite a fight. Don't waste that bullet on him. Wait, how many bullets do I have? You should be proud of her. No, no, no. I, I need to... Now, ordinarily, I would take him out, but I need the element to surprise against... The old bitch provided I still have on. She's kind of yelling. I don't even know if she still has it, but in case she does. I like the skags fight. Otherwise, ordinarily though, I would have put a bullet in him. Yeah, see, I wanted the, uh, 
I didn't know if shooting him would make me lose the element of surprise, that's why I didn't do it. Because unlike these guys, I'm a fan of not letting my adversaries live. Come on, damn it. Hey! Oh shit! Oh another thing that should have killed you. What are you paralyzed doing? You. Now's not the time for this! Fuck you, you've been fucking me over this whole time. I'm protecting Gordas! Summoning the vault brought this monster with it! It's bigger than any I've ever seen! Did I not shoot her? It, it didn't let me shoot her. between us isn't gonna matter if we're all dead! We have to destroy Gordas! It's what's keeping the vault guardian here! Oh. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It's too powerful to take out any other way. Have to shoot me! It's the only way! Oh, so he he wants it too, okay. I guess so. Okay. Okay, I understand. Is there anything I can do to help? Good girl! Help me steady the rocket! The wind's too strong for me to get a clean shot! No! Ah! No! Ooh, she dead. Wait, oh, maybe not. Who knows? My golden rule in this game at this point is that if I don't see a dead body that is clearly dead, they're not dead because, like, people just, like, they live out too much shit. No! Oh! to repeat that you're cutting out rocket launcher. wait the, the rocket launcher ah resident evil style god damn it game your fucking qtes are ridiculous i'm i'm so sorry gordas holy fuck Yep, Resident Evil, bro. Hit the glowy spot with a rocket launcher. Come on. Oh. We've got this. Day six machina. Well, not really, but thank you for your help. Do it. Also, that reminded me a little bit of Metal Gear Solid, the PS1 version. With that final boss and fight. Just like that. Mm -hmm. monster that protected it they were all gone so it's all for naught reminds me we of uncharted us, each other and the memories of those we lost along the way all for nothing yep. so now is it the mass dude I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it Is he gonna set up a tale from the Borderlands too? And that was that. Eventually.
Eventually, we made our way back to Hollow Point. Got August patched up. There isn't much more to it. Life sort of returned back to normal. Well, our normal. That was it. You destroyed Gordas, then walked away. Moved on with your life like nothing happened. You weren't there. It had to be done. The Vault Monster would have taken us all out. What about you? Oh, right, he has his shit back. I forgot about that. After I came to, I grabbed the rights to Atlas on Pandora from Jack's office. Figured I could use it to build something. A fresh start. At that point, it made are, sense to I. head back to the Atlas facility we left. Got it going again. Luckily, it was well stocked. Whole lot of fruit. Fixed myself up. Worked yep. on some prototypes. Obviously, that was all after she ditched me on Helios. You chose your side. Ah. There was an announcement and everything. That was... a um, huge mistake. Turns out, yeah. But when it all came down to it and you were faced with a choice, it was clear what was important to you. Meeting you, that vault key deal, was a disaster we didn't need in our lives. Are well, fuck serious? me for a mistake. That is what you're pissed about? It was a little more complicated than that. What isn't complicated is the fact that you were making googly eyes at my sister the entire time you were around. Well, maybe he was, I wasn't. I wouldn't have been. If it was my choice, it would have been at you. Well, <clears throat> I came out with a few scars, too. Go on, punk. Quit stalling. Man, put some hustle in it. I, I ain't got all day. I recognize that voice. As do I. Kroger? Hey, really? What is this shit? A debt needs to be repaid. What is that supposed to mean? Ah, oh, fuck. Down there, fool! Yo, man, you didn't tell me this dude would be holed up in a bandit camp. The whole damn place was coming after me. You seem fine. I mean, I lost them, but I wouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> Just a matter of time before they come through. I'll take my chances. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, look here. We got Fiona and her corporate chump. Sup, bitch. The name's Reese, thanks. Look at you, all wrapped up like birthday presents. What are you doing here, Kroger? Last I remember, you couldn't wipe your ass without someone's permission. <laughs> Man, you just don't stop, do you? I'm here for my own business, thank you very much. <laughs> Look. I brought you your bandit boss. We gonna make the trade or what? Ah, he wants both of us. One. Can't be that. Take them. <laughs> no, they ain't making it out of here. This is personal. Hey, no, no, stop! This is the end of the line, girl. You, you can't let him do this! So you got some last words? Just to get them out now. Because you know what they say payback is. Come on. At least make it a fair fight. Mm -mm. I like my odds better this way. Pussy. This one's for Finch! Ah! Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Whoa. 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 Stop saying that. Don't even think about running. So you just, uh. So I guess you get to keep all three of us, huh? The hell is he doing? 
This... This is weird. I don't know. Maybe he has a question. <laughs> oh. oh, great! A firing squad. I just hit murder bingo! They don't like him very much, do they? That reminds me of the end of Breaking Bad. <laughs> well, he doesn't like you too much, does he? I already knew he was going to do that. All right. Laser pointers off. Laser pointers? Just like Breaking Children Bad! Try to avoid guns when it comes to conflict resolution. What? What the fuck? He has a beard and shit, too. I lost you, buddy. <laughs> Same here, man. I can't believe this. Well, you... Man. Come <laughs> on. Now, oh, come on. It's great to see you, too, Fiona. We got a lot to catch up on. But it's not entirely safe out here. We'll take you back to the base. Base? Oh, yeah. You're not gonna believe what we've done to the place. That was kind of weird, but all right. I mean, the whole thing was nuts! So, I ended up taking your advice. Bit the mustachey guy when he wasn't looking, and I made a break for it. Weird to think he's dead now. Uh, they're both dead, actually. Right. Right. I hung around, tracked you guys as best I could. I was working on a plan to spring you, but then you left on the rocket, and uh, Valerie opened the vault, and just all oh, hell broke loose. I tried to find you guys, but eventually I started suspecting the worst. I didn't want to think that way, but, but, after a while, it's just hard not to lose hope. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just happy you're safe. Same here, man. The whole thing was so surreal, you know? I mean, Helios crashing, but by the time the dust settled, everyone was gone. Except for the ones that made it to the escape pods. Never expected to be leading a bunch of Hyperion refugees. Ah. And they were crawling out of those things like mm. newborns. Just bleary-eyed and scared. Their first day on Pandora. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but... They elected you, leader? Hey, look, man. I was just as surprised as you. They, they wouldn't even let me into the squash games back on Helios. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. It's just that they only have so many courts. And... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Ancient history, it's fine, okay? Here, on Pandora... I was the only guy that even kind of knew their way around. Ah, they'd never been here before. I mean, most of these people, they hadn't spent a waking hour doing anything but just sitting on their ass, getting sweatier and fatter. <sighs> <sighs> Which is why we decided to make our base out of what was left of Helios. Cool, right? Whoa. I mean, I figured that would be like a tourist attraction on Pandora for a bunch of bandits to sit there and rob and murder and shit, but I guess not. 
Okay. Yeah, they're pretty deferential. Which is really odd for a bunch of ex-Hyperion. Hello! Wow. They must really revere you. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. They're bowing to you. What, me? Th this isn't for you? <laughs> You're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for them. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of Jack. Yes, very observant. It was at one point, but uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. <laughs> Someone tried to alter what the, the face hell? to look like you, but um, most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. Is it douchey to say that I could kind of get used to this? Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little douchey, yeah. Mm, much more than a little. <laughs> if you, you'd know this feels awesome. Reese, you don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios shed them of their corporate shackles. So they didn't right, want then. to be there? Let's take advantage of my fame. That seems kind of weird, but all right. I mean, I took them out of the only life they knew to bring them to a shitty place like Pandora. I figured they'd hate me, but whatever floats the boat. Kind of weird not being in flashback anymore. For that matter, where's Sasha at? <laughs> wow. <laughs> My forehead isn't really that big. <laughs> Is it? There's a drawing. I told you, they're sucky. Kill it with fire. <laughs> a holding cell made of glass. Yeah, whose brilliant idea was that? Come on, he's not going anywhere. You're not even a little curious to hear what this guy has to say? I mean, yeah, but there's fruit. Jesus. <clears throat> I'm talking to him. Okay, 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 I'm coming. I'm doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. Why? I got a gun. Okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're a bad cop, and I'll be good cop. Yeah, okay. I can do that. I mean, I don't really know how to interrogate somebody, but I mean... and we want some questions. <laughs> so you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer... All right, spit it out. Who are you? A truth seeker. That it tells me nothing. Enough of the haiku bullshit. You give us straight answers when we ask you a question. Thank you. You're supposed to be good, cop. Are you sure? <laughs> or else one of us, just slightly unclear which one, is gonna have to get mean. That shotgun. It's a Hyperion model. I saw that in Jack's office. So you must have been to the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just, no more games. Just take his fucking mask off. How hard is that? Better now than I ever have. That's terrific. I don't care. I was there. I was there when Gordas was destroyed. I saw the betrayal. What betrayal? He had to be. It had to be done. I saw it, but I could not believe it. What is it, Logobot? 
How is that betrayal he was asking for and it had to be done? I have asked for only one thing. After giving so much. Yep, it's Loaderbot. I had sacrificed everything for my friends. Only to be betrayed. Bitch fucking please. You asked earlier who I am. The answer is simple. I am your friend. Waterbot? Bye. Yeah, hi. Ah, that's uh, why I wouldn't I have. have a lot of questions. <laughs> you and me both. Hey. Gordis. Gordis was my friend, too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to believe that, too. How is this even possible? I mean, how are you even standing here right now? I went back to Helios. I needed to survive. Ah. To find you. To learn the truth. But why the disguise? I mean, why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was, you would lie about what happened. That makes zero sense. If we knew, if like we could have just as easily been lying. I mean, you knew. I mean, you knew the truth already. But I mean, we could have just as easily lied to you and given you bullshit the whole time, and you wouldn't have been able to call us out on it without revealing your true identity. That makes no fucking sense. But whatever. It is in your nature to lie. He's got a point there. Right, Hyperion guy, con artist. It checks out. I really am sorry about Gordas. I didn't have a choice. I know that now. You should have already known from the beginning sorry who you were there. For not trusting you. Please forgive me. <laughs> Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> that is a face, right? Of course, Loaderbot. I am filled with joy. <laughs> okay, so it must be weird to be hugged I'm by an exoskeleton robot. robot. But it doesn't explain why you got us all together. That's a good I mean, question. I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. I brought you together to help me assemble Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Heavy. Have you forgotten about the Vault Monster that nearly killed us? This time, it will be different. How? We yeah. will all be there to fight it with some friends. We were unprepared. Weak. That won't be the case this time. That's not much of a plan. Not that I'm saying no. I have faith. We can find a way. You mentioned friends. What do you mean by that? I've compiled a list of people who may be willing to help us. The last few months were spent tracking their locations. We'll need help to take that thing down. Killing the Vault Monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. Whatever help the Children of Helios can provide is at your service. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Count me in. For Gortus. And as a bonus, the treasure in that vault. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. You are the best. So, you, me, LB, Bond's on board. Hell yeah, he is. I can get Sasha here. No, oh, uh, yeah, where so the fuck is she? Anyway? Uh, How many more we need? Vault Hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. 
two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? It's all you. Okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that. She achieves clarity through visualization. Oh, oh, okay, well, you know, why didn't you just say that? Ah. August? I don't know. Felix is already dead. He's been dead for a long time. Or is he? Actually, maybe, who knows? Maybe he's not. Someone other than August with a botch of all the deal. I suppose there's always August. This is gonna be interesting. I just want to see what happens with Felix. Motherfucker's dead. <laughs> He's too dead to help you in your quest. Okay, that's what I thought. Damn, so he can be alive for that long. Shit. God damn it. I don't he's not gonna be available either. God damn it. Okay. Well we got one. You know, I like how, I like how at least this part, I like how at least this part is actually letting me, um, it actually is kind of based off what, what the shit that I did. Yeah. That's all I fucking need. Dude, you could have like nobody there. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck. I mean, I like this team, but I'm kind of stuck anyway, because <laughs> there are a lot of people who don't fucking like me. Zero anyway. <laughs> Hello, Negan. The guy who fucking says fuck like a fucking soldier. Oh, fuck. In the TV, but in the TV version, he doesn't because the TV version is bullshit. How the fuck are you still alive? I thought I killed you a long time ago. Oh, holy shit! Damn, girl! 
Then again, I'm not actually, well, why am I asking why he's still alive? I should be asking how people are dead in this game. Felix, how are you dead? All I did was shoot you in the heart. And then you blew up. That's all that happened to you. You should be alive. Game. At this point, you got me thinking incredulously about every death so far because of the shit these guys survive. I heard you were looking for the Gordas Core yourself. Well, that was before. I've abandoned that mission. My queue was too full. I've been there. They really start to pile up. Thank you for coming. Sure. I'm mostly here for the loot. That's I, fine. Uh... Because you're a badass. Sorry about your mom. She was aggressively unique. A unique woman. <laughs> Thought you said Sasha'd be here. <sighs> Relax, she will be. We'll catch her up when she gets here. All right. Affirmative. So in order to access the mysterious treasures of the vault <laughs> and assure the safety of Gordas, <laughs> we gotta destroy the monster that protects us. No shit. So what's the COA, bro? This is the Traveler. It's quite impressive. That's the largest vault monster I have ever seen. So you've seen oh, yeah. plenty. It's big. It's nasty. It's gotta go. No shit. Any plan that kills that ugly bastard is fine by me. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting well, for. you're in luck then. You don't have one, do you, asshole? more fun and complicated. Mm. It teleports. Yay. Hence the whole traveler thing. That thing looks heavily armored. How do we deal with that? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually impossible to penetrate. That's why you and Sasha have to get inside. When the traveler teleports, there's a swirl of energy at the point where it's going to jump to. You just have to time it so that when you get the caravan... The caravan? Yeah, that's what I said. It flies now, remember? You just got to time it so that you're inside the energy thing when the monster shows up. What little information we were able to gather seems to point to a gland, tucked in its giant tummy there, as the source for its teleportation abilities. Once you're in, you wire up the gland. Weird to keep calling it that. With explosives. Trigger the remote detonator and get the heck out of there. So what's everyone else's role? Good question. The B team, that's you guys, you're saddled with the unenviable task of drawing the monster over to this area. <laughs> oh, you get my the monster fuck. toward the vicinity of this ledge, <clears throat> it tries to jump into range. The caravan flies into the energy swirly thing before it jumps. So <laughs> where do I fit into all of this? You, sir, are our motivational speaker. The fuck? After the teleportation is offline, we need Gordas to wrestle the Traveler into place for the Moonbeam. And that's gonna require some convincing. And that's what you and Loderbot are in charge of. Well, I guess... I guess this is what we're doing. Well, sounds good to me. Sounds like a batshit crazy idea plan, but fuck it, I'm in, I guess. At least, what I heard of it. Hi. I... I thought you were dead. <laughs> Get over here! Oh, oh, come on. You know, I... Mean, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> so happy to see you. Keep fun, ah! safe. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, yes, I saw that. <laughs> me too. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> you hey. fucking douche. It's, um... It's good to see you, Brees. Assuming that's who I'm talking to. Like the new hair. Whole look. It works. Oh, thanks. Oh, but to be clear, is that a compliment from Reese or Jack? Yeah, you kind right. of... Well, yeah, I kind of screwed the pooch on that one, didn't differently. I? I suppose you're right. All right, all right, enough of whatever the hell that was. We've got a vault monster to kill.
by the way, um, since the game is now going into what I'm assuming is the final mission with this batshit crazy plan, but fuck it, it'll work out somehow because the plot demands it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end episode five, number two, right here. Um, with that being said, uh, well, I think good to go. Look forward to um, number three, whenever the hell it comes out.